Okay, so here's the plan. This time, I'm building something very powerful, but with no wheels. Yep, because it's a boat. And not just any boat, nope, this one. Yay! Now, I've had this boat for many years, and it's been very fun. And although it looks like a speedboat, well, it's never been really fast. First, I had an 8 horsepower outboard, which was, well, slow. Then, I got a 20 horsepower one, which did bring more power, but also more weight in the back. So much so that one day, the boat almost sank on me while I was standing in the rear. So really, what I need is a big engine, but not in the rear. And this is where my trusty old friend, the sports bike, comes into the party. These bikes have very much power, but it's coming from a light and very small engine. That's right, I'm building a bike engine powered boat. And to drive the propeller from the engine, I will attach what's called a stern drive. This device takes the rotation from the engine and brings it down into the water. Also, it can steer and has a forward and reverse gearbox. Now if we add up all these components together, we will have the most insane overpowered boat in history, which will have 6 gears, sound like this, and with a length of just 4 meters and over 100 horsepower, this will sure be some real homemade madness. Let's get started and get the bike. So this is the bike, it's a Honda VTR Firestar, should make around uh, 120 horsepower, pretty good. Uh, 1000 cc, feet win engine, so nice and uh, compact, has a top speed of 250 km per hour, <laughs> which is insane, let's take it apart. So with the engine out it's time to get a boat, but first, well I have some obstacles to remove.
as you can see, it is pretty small. But I have a plan. You see, the engine needs to go in here behind the seats. And to make space, I'll pull this out to here. And also, I will close this gap. And then we have an engine bay. So with everything out, it's time to take this nice and strong and build a frame here for the engine. Now I'm going to build all of this from wood and then cover it up with fiberglass and make it nice and strong.
So, this is stern drive and this is the drive axle. This is the one I have to drive to get the propeller to turn. This is the propeller. Pretty big. And this face has to mount on here. So we need to cut a hole in here. So that's it for part one. In the next video, we will put in the engine and connect the drive line. Thanks for watching.